Yo, hey, hi, I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. The only real difference between this iron nail and this copper penny is protons, and oh yeah, I'm going over today's science file. Are atoms all the same size? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need two measuring cups, some water, and some rubbing alcohol. Okay, so I'm here to tell you that one and one does not equal two. I almost put up the wrong finger there. What? What? You're looking at me like, okay, Chris, <laughs> have you ever been to a math class? Ever. One and one does not equal two. And I'm going to do it with molecules. So the first thing you need to do is get some molecules. <laughs> get yourself some water. And you're going to pour your water into your small measuring cup. And you're going to pour the small measuring cup into your large measuring cup. Okay, next you're going to get yourself some 97% rubbing alcohol. Yes, 97% rubbing alcohol. Because see, here, you know, wait, here's what people do, okay? They go out, they get just regular standard rubbing alcohol, they do this experiment at home, and fake! Fake! It's not me, it's not fake, it's you. You didn't get the 97% rubbing alcohol, you gotta get the 97% rubbing alcohol. Watch this! No, oh, that is so wicked cool! Yeah, that's right, I told you one and one doesn't equal two! <laughs> okay, so why when we add one ounce of water to one ounce of rubbing alcohol, we don't get two ounces? And what exactly is the difference between these two pieces of matter? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. That's right. What did you think I was going to say? The fundamental particles that make up atoms, such as protons, neutrons, and electrons, the number of elements can differ from one atom to another. We know how many protons are in the center of an atom because we can break atoms apart as well as fire particles at the center of atoms. Since hydrogen has the least amount of space bouncing back these particles, we know that hydrogen atoms have only one proton in the nucleus of the atom. When we fire particles at other atoms and see how much space their centers take up and compare it to the space of the hydrogen atom, we can tell the number of protons in the nucleus of any given atom. The number of protons in the nucleus is what makes one atom different from another. For example, copper, like the penny, has 29 protons in its nucleus, and iron has 26 protons in its nucleus. Since water is only made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, and the alcohol is made up of three carbon atoms, seven hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom, the smaller water molecules slip between the space of the larger alcohol molecules. There are 92 naturally occurring atoms, and we humans have synthesized about 20 new atoms, such as Einsteinium. So now you know the only real difference between these two items are the number of protons in their nucleus. You know, seeing that one and one doesn't equal two because of molecules is why science is so cool. <laughs>